January 15th. Things to be left behind. Lay aside every weight, and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus. Hebrews 12 1-2 Leave behind your past sins. They have been many and great, more than you can count. But if you have confessed and forsaken them, they have been put away, as far as the east is from the west. Nothing could be more explicit than 1 John 1 9. It is useless to brood over the past. God has buried it in the grave of Christ. Go and sin no more. Leave behind your bad habits that encumber you. You know what they are, and how they cling ill temper, jealousy, pride, evil speaking, and many another. You have fallen again and again, overtaken by them, tripped up, your robes stained and torn. There should be some finality in your life, a mark on the grass from which you start to run the race. The command to put off the old man is in the definite tense, Colossians 3 8-9. It bespeaks one sudden strong act of the will, God-nerved, and God-empowered. This, then, is the hour when you must strike for liberty ye have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Leave behind your accomplished ideals. They were once far in front and above you. As you climbed they seemed almost inaccessible, and mocking voices rang out their defiance of your attempt. But by the grace of God things that once you dreamt of are now realized, and you are sitting on the peak that once seemed to laugh you to scorn. But you must leave it behind. Look up. Look forward. Are there not fresh ideals calling to you? Leave behind your attainments and strike your tents. One battle is fought, but a yet stronger foe bars the way immediately in front. It is suicidal to rest on your oars, to do so will expose you to the inevitable backward drift. The best way to leave behind is to press forward. The Spirit of God bids us run with patience the race set before us, looking unto Jesus. He is our forerunner, always before us, always leading us on. His crest, like the plume of Henry of Navarre, is always in the very thick of the fight. Let the soul follow hard after him, and it will become almost oblivious to what it leaves behind. The boy who is running for the goal, in his eagerness to win the prize, strips himself of one and another article of clothing. He will not count their worth, so long as he may win the prize. So run that ye may attain. Apprehend that for which you were apprehended. Lay hold on the outstretched crown of life. Prayer Most gracious God, quicken me by thy Holy Spirit, that I may run in the way thou hast marked out for me. May I ever be kept looking off unto Jesus. Amen.